So we're in here in this uh, corn plots. Uh, this has been uh, seven years of no-till, uh, continuous corn, and this year we're looking at nitrous oxide uh, emissions from uh, corn. We're trying to look at the environmental footprint of production of corn. Nitrous oxide is a potent greenhouse gas. It represents about 85% of the nitrous oxide from agriculture comes from uh, fertilizer application uh, and the emissions associated with production, producing corn. So what we have here, we can see that these are chambers uh, uh, in the soil that we put on uh, a top and we're measuring the amount of gas produced. We're trying to assess how much nitrous oxide is being emitted uh, under um, uh, this crop. So the nitrous oxide emissions, it's important early in the season. The weather, a wet spring, will have more N2O emissions because the microbes in the soil, when, they're, when the soil is saturated, produce that nitrous oxide, those gas emissions. So the weather variability is extremely important. And so we're looking at uh, the first six weeks where we will have the most emissions. But we're measuring it throughout the growing season, uh, even after the growing season, to get a, a, a total nitrogen balance. One of the other things that we're doing with this study was we're also using N15, which is a naturally occurring isotope so that we can trace the fertilizer nitrogen into the, the soil, uh, the organic matter, and then also determine how much uh, is getting into this corn crop. So it's, a, it's even a more sensitive method for uh, looking, uh, looking at the nitrogen balance. And so combined with the nitrous oxide emissions in the N15, we're able to precisely determine the nitrogen balance uh, of this corn production system. By managing that nitrogen in a more effective way, we reduce those emissions by 60%. So instead of uh, 15 to 20 pounds of nitrogen loss, uh, we got something like eight pounds of nitrogen loss in that system. The nitrogen management tools that we have been looking at, one is uh, placing the nitrogen um, or timing the nitrogen so it's put on uh, at side dress time. That's the most effective way. The other is uh, putting the nitrogen on at planting, but with uh, microbial inhibitors, nitrification inhibitors. And that's where we saw the greatest reduction in loss and more efficiency.